Hey, it's Matt. How's it going? Wonderful day. Uh, 17th of January, 81 degrees in wonderful central Florida. It occurred to me that I hadn't been out in a while. I've been busy lately. I've been traveling. Went up to Chicago. It was really cold. Had to drive back with a trailer, you know, down in Miami for business and finally get a chance to uh, go out in the woods a little bit and get away. I'm lucky enough to, uh, to have some woods that are close by my house that I can get away from. You know, relatively quiet, you know, other than the dogs barking and stuff. But, hey, figured I would take you along for a short walk. Bringing something out and I'm going to use something today that I haven't used. I've been, I've been neglecting it. It's my, my canteen cup and stove. You know, I've been using my Czech mess kit and my uh, French military mess kit and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I've I, I totally forgotten, neglected my canteen cup. So I brought it out today. I'm going to do up a little little ramen chicken and rice thing you know see how that works and get a little lunch just take it easy get a little quiet time in some woods that really helps so I'm gonna go out to my private place here and then uh, I'll check back with you in a minute hey okay, here we go pretty easy place to get to nice clearing right in the middle of everything yeah, still got a little debris that I'm going to have to clear out a little bit from the hurricanes, but everything else is cool. You know, looks like some critters been under there, but clean this out and, and get going. I'll be right back. All right, that didn't take long. Nice cleared off spot. Got my, got my hiking belt as usual. I love that thing. Get out my canteen cup, see if I can get it rolling. <sighs> Feel bad, I neglected my canteen cup. I haven't used it in so long. But we're going to use it today. That's for sure. It's really dry in Florida. You gotta be careful because I don't want to start a forest fire. Use my little stove. It's gonna go right on the ground. Trying some of these fuel pellets today. See how they do boiling the water. I'm gonna do it the easy way today. easiest way to do this is just get a piece of hardware cloth throw it on top there you go if 
I've used this a lot of times. I've used it quite a few times so I know how much exactly how much water to put in for two cups. Great. We'll see how long it takes it to boil. Okay, fuel tablets are working okay, but they're look like they're dying out a little bit. A little breezy today. Might have to uh, put the ramen in quick here and maybe put some twigs under there. That's boiling enough for ramen. While that cooks down, we'll get it rolling. <laughs> All right, my, my fuel tablet's kicked off on me, so I had to put some oak twigs in there and get another fire started. Because we don't want to have undercooked ramen. That would be disaster. So it's cooking up for a few minutes. All right, we got a nice little uh, canteen stove fire going. Now I'm going to put some the flavor package in, put some rice in there, and my secret ingredient. And the secret ingredient is Swanson chicken breast. <laughs> put chicken breast in first. Drain it out. Boiling pretty nice now. Oh yeah. Woohoo. See if we can get this to boil again. Still burning pretty good under there. Yeah, there it goes. There we go. Now do rice. Now flavor packet. Rice is going to soak up all that chicken flavor. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, yeah. See if we can get it to boil one more time, then I'm going to let it sit for five minutes. This is a really cool system. It was boiling up pretty good, so I'm just going to set it on the side, on the side, off the fire, so that the rice can puff up. This is a really cool system that I use. I like it. It's a little canteen cup stove, and I just, uh, I just bring along a little half-inch hardware cloth, and I just throw it on the top, and that's what, uh, that's what I use for the base of my stove. So, it works really, really good. You know, uh, it's nothing special. Really cheap. Really easy. 
uh, the fuel tablets didn't last as long as I wanted to, but hey, you never know. So I'll get back with you. I feel bad. I've been neglecting my canteen cup. <laughs> but let me show you what works really, really good. The stove with this hardware cloth, and it's still burning a little bit, works really, really good. I had to put some twigs in there and it really contained the fire. That's the lunch. So that's what we're going to look at in just a second. <laughs> wow. Wow, this is awesome. This, that's how it turned out with the chicken and the rice in it. It almost fills up the canteen cup. Man, that's a lot. Glad I'm hungry today. <laughs> and it is smoking hot, so... Just needed to get out in the woods, you know. I'm not very far out in the woods. Pretty close to my house. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to take a, a real giant... A real giant or long trip this afternoon didn't really have time still still been pretty busy working sucks but time in the woods really really gets you back and really gets you recharged this is nothing but ramen chicken with half a cup of white rice and a little can of chicken that I bought at the store it's really hot but it's really good <laughs> It's really good. So, just had to take a little time to recharge a little bit. It's still hunting season until um, January 22nd, so I can't go out to the wildlife management area and I can't take a real long hike like I want to do because I don't want to screw anybody up deer hunting. Uh, and I don't want to get shot, so, you know, this, this, this is good enough for me to, to come out, play hike a little bit, get a little lunch, show you where I'm at, say hi to everybody, say hi to everybody on, on my channel, and to all the subscribers, I really appreciate it, I'm, I'm well over 200 now, uh, I was going to go get some swamp water, like uh, hike with Mike, told me to but uh, I'm gonna do that you know as soon as it cools down it's about 81 degrees today and it's just not and it's still hunting season so it's just not a good time to go out but I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna enjoy my lunch in some woods which is really hot by the way <laughs> so the canteen cup and stove uh, you know it is it's still one of the best alternatives for for trail cooking and camp cooking. You know, I, I've been using my Czech mess kit and my uh, uh, my French military mess kit. And I you know I've been experimenting with different ways to do those, but this is still one of the best ways there is, is the canteen cup and stove. So until next time, which may be next weekend, I'm not sure. Uh, this is Matt from Florida Boy Survival. See you on the trail.